Madonna, Material Girl, 80s classic. All right. So I'll just play through all the different sections of the song for you uh, right off the top. Just jam right through them. Um, after that, I'll go back through and give you a little more detail and guidance with uh, what's going on. Um, before we get into all that, please help out the channel. Hit that subscription button. It'd be doing me a huge favor, and I'd really appreciate it. All right, so let's get on into this Material Girl. So we get this intro and the main progression here, which is, you know, the verse and uh, towards the end, just kind of like the outro, all that. Uh, but the main progression of the song, and there are these kind of uh, staccato, offbeat, just real short, um, almost like reggae chords or something. Uh, but uh, basically, they're just coming in twos. All right. So initially, the intro is just going to run this C chord for a little bit before the vocal starts. And, uh, you know, that lead riff plays over the top of it. All right, so basically you just want to, like, uh, skip a beat there, and then we just hit two of these C chords real quick. And I like to do it this voice because you can keep it uh, choppier that way. So three on the A with the five on the D, G, B there. And like I said, just two, two strums close together, short. Okay. Just little poppy chords there. All right, so just jam that up. Um, for good, you know, uh, eight measures or so uh, while that lead riff plays. And then once the vocal starts, we get this verse progression, and it just keeps with that, that C. Okay, and you want to do that about four times. All right. Move it down to B flat. Okay, so just one on the A with the three on the uh, D, G, B. Same thing there. Uh, same strum and all that. Just do it two times. Right. And then we move it down to an A minor. Okay, so open A with the two on the D and G and one on the B. And uh, this you just want to do a couple times also. All right, so that's kind of like the first uh, half of it. And second half of it, uh, we come back to that C four times. But now we're going to bring it up to D minor. Okay, so... 5 on the A with the 7 on the D and G, 6 on the B. Okay, you do that a couple times. All right, and then just go back to the C for a couple times. All right, so pretty basic. It's just about kind of getting that timing and the feel of it, really. All right, so let's just do it up to tempo now. And now this lead riff that happens, okay, over the intro here, uh, it kind of switches up every time it goes comes around. Um, this first run through, uh, we'll, we'll do it in a lower octave, and then it just bumps up to a, a higher octave. Okay, so you want to be here. We're going to be at the uh, 1 on the A. We're going to hold that a moment. Go to 3 on the D. Hold that a moment. Okay, come over, do 2 open on the D, and then come back to the 3 on the A. And just hit that a couple times. Okay. All right. Next half of that lower octave starts a similar way. Go one on the A, three on the D, two to open on the D. Okay, but now it's going to jump up and go two open on the G. And after we get through that lower octave now, we just kind of switch it up. Uh, come, up, come up to a higher octave now. We go three on the G, then we go one on the E. 
Okay, same notes, just higher. Uh, open E, 3B, off to a couple of ones on the B. This ends uh, changes slightly here, just not as much. Okay, so it's just three on the G, one E, and then just come up to one on the B. All right. So a little fun riff there. Uh, let's just get it all up to speed now. <clears throat> Alright, and once the chorus comes around, um, we get these really cool little uh, arpeggio things that happen. Um, if you want to, you can just stick with the normal chords. I put those up top for you. Um, the chords would just be F to G, G to A minor, and then the second half is F to G, just to A minor. Okay, but if you want to do it this recorded uh, arpeggio style, which is pretty fun, um, we're just essentially picking through parts of those chords. All right, so we're going to do this F here, where we do 3 on the D, 2 G, 1 on the B. Okay. Now we do the G, which is open G string, open B to 3 B. All right, and second part of this, uh, essentially just reverse what we just did. Go 3 B, open B to open G. All right, and once we get to the A minor, pick through the bottom of that, where we go open E, 1B to 2G. Right. And it's just a matter of getting the, the speed right on it. Right. And you kind of want to keep them uh, staccato style, you know, a little short synth style notes. All right. And the second time through, all right, we get to that F again, and the G, just do that the same way. All right. But since we're just cutting directly to A minor on the second time through, we're going to pick all the way through most of that A minor. Okay, so uh, 2D, 2G, 1B, open E. Okay. All right, so uh, that's the lower register. Uh, it's going to kick up into a higher one next, and I'll show you that, but let's just do this one up to speed here. All right, and like I said, it jumps up to the higher octave, um, real high octave now. And essentially, um, we're just going to, you can just play it the same way you did down here, but just start it, you know, at the 12th fret. Okay, so we'll just do that same F shape, that, but now it's going to be 15D, 14G, 13B. Okay, now we use our 12 like we would the open. Okay, so uh, 12G, 12B, 15B. All right, reverse it. 15B, 12B, 12G. All right, now come through the bottom of that A minor, which is 12E, 13B, 14G. Okay. All right, and second half of this, um, it kind of stops before we get to that final A minor. Okay, so we're just basically going to do the F to the G, okay, just like that, that first measure of this, 15, 14, 13, 12, 12, 15. All right, and then it would jump into that lead riff. Okay, so let's just get this higher, uh, higher octave up to tempo. All right, and once we get to that uh, second time around with the lead riff, it just switches up a little bit here. All right, so it's going to do similarly where we do uh, 1A, 3D, 2 to open on the D. Okay, but here it kind of ends on a different note. We go to 3A, but then we go to 1A. Okay, it's just a slight little difference for some reason. All right, and the way we finish this is simple, like we kind of did with the higher register of the first lead riff, where we just go 1A, 3D, and then just come up and hold that 3 on the A. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. 
like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.